Thanksgiving with my parents, just the way our work schedules um, worked out. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, we couldn't get home for the actual day of Thanksgiving, so today is Friday, the day before gun season, and we are driving back home to hunt with, uh, with my dad, sister, and uncle tomorrow morning for the opening day gun. Um, I don't think a neek will be out there. I'm going wedding dress shopping. So, um, we've had... <laughs> we've had uh, some nice deer show up. A couple two and three year olds. That There's nothing huge at the, at the farm that we hunt down at home. Um, so, we're just going to go have some fun. See, hopefully we can get on one of those two nicer. There's, I think there's two three year olds. There's definitely one three year old. And then there's one either really nice two-year-old or three-year-old. He's about 120 inches. He's probably going to be on the hit list. He's probably going to get shot if he comes by. Um, just the way the season's been. Um, sorry we haven't been able to get the content out that we've wanted. We've had a lot of stuff going on from our target deer getting hit in Michigan to cutting my hand open and missing the whole beginning of November because I couldn't hang my tree stand and shoot my bow. And then thirdly, we took a weekend and hunted up here in the mountains of Pennsylvania and only saw like two does. Nothing. So we didn't want to bore you with a bunch of content that had that had no deer. So we've hopefully we got some stuff planned here in Ohio and in Pennsylvania for late season. So we're still hoping I got I got my two tags left in Michigan. So we're hoping to get something to action for you guys this week. And um, just God bless each and every one of you. If you guys are out hunting. With your families, don't take it for granted. Um, it's something that I enjoy and love every year. And we have our cookies. And we have our cookies. I won these at work for State Thanksgiving right bingo. Be our stadium. Yeah. We are. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, by the time you guys see this, Penn State's in the playoff and not. Hopefully, they beat Maryland. Fingers crossed. First day predictions and updates. Brian called out. Classic. Um, yeah, our uncle's sick. Colby's gonna see at least four legal buck. Dad's gonna. Where's dad sitting? I don't know. He might go back to where Uncle Brian was gonna sit. Oh, uh, Dad's gonna see probably two legal buck. I'll see a bunch of spikes. Where are you even going for today? Will you shoot any buck? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Not, not probably like a scrapper. But Colby's gonna probably shoot a buck. Dad's gonna get a doe because he's on some spree. And I don't know. I feel like unlucky hunting, so not high hopes for myself. Are we feeling any like difference in the luck for you this year? Well, it's. 420 and I slept three and a half hours max, so no. Yeah, thanks Georgia and Georgia Tech last night for eight overtime that kept us up. But yeah, it's 420. We only got a couple like a few hours of sleep last night, so I'm pretty tired too. But we're gonna give it all we got and see if we can't get at least one buck and a doe. I think I think I think that's what we're gonna get today. I think we're gonna get one buck and a doe. I'm guessing. I'm my. I'm guessing two deer. Yeah, it's gonna be all or nothing. I feel like so. All right, we will catch up with you guys a little later. Probably. Well, we'll probably show a little bit of drinking coffee and stuff, but definitely in the stand. So. See you in a little bit. Well, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Update number one was this morning getting in was a kind of a disaster. We got in cleaned, but 
this tree has grown a lot and it's actually so thick I can't get my camera arm around it so I haven't been able to film anything um, I've seen probably about eight or nine probably three or four different buck not I saw one nice one over my shoulder there on that opposite ridge and it ran up the ridge and that's where the borderline is or it ran up that valley and it just broke loose probably four or five shots at him so watched him die and then just been out here and it's pretty chilly this morning in the 20s and I sweated to come getting in this morning so I'm pretty chilly so that's why I haven't been giving you much updates I can't like I said I can't get my camera arm set up because the tree's too wide and I'm sitting right on a piece of metal this the pad got eaten by squirrels so yeah I got a cold butt Oh, I'm cr I cramp. My hamstrings cramped every first day. My hamstrings cramp, and uh, but yeah, I, I definitely did see probably two different nice bucks this morning. Just one was 110 yards in the brush that way. One was 150 yards going up the other hillside. So, um, it just kind of stinks. So that we haven't seen anything. And the biggest thing is my sister hasn't seen a buck. So I'm just. I feel bad for her because she's put her time in and just cannot seem to catch a break right now. So we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll let you guys know. I don't know what the plan is. I know my sister has to go wedding dress shopping with my fiance later. So I'm sure we'll hunt till about 11. And then I don't know what we're going to do. So um, I might get down, go to the bathroom, get something to eat and come back out here in the afternoon but yeah we still got it's only 9 30 so it's not all doom and gloom yet so but yeah it was pretty quiet until those last five or six shots so we'll see he lifted his head real quick uh -huh. He was about to go, and I was like, shoot. And I wasn't really steady or anything. I wasn't ready. So I was just like, well, it's now or never. And I was like, Cole's going to kill me. Because I'm sitting down there, and I caught his rat coming through the thick stuff. And I'm like, and I see the first doe go, and I'm like, shoot. shoot. Like, I, I, like, I'm like, i in my head, I'm like, shoot. And I bang. And then I heard I heard him crash into that bush. I saw the bush go. I was like, what's going on? And then I heard her shoot again. And then she called me. And... <laughs> so where'd you shoot at him first? Right up here. Oh, up here. That's where I hit him. Well, I think I missed him when he was laying on the ground down there. Uh -huh. There he lays. But, because I sent Chloe a video, there was a doe. Well, there's a buck I saw before. Oh, did you? It was like a little rock. It was down there, but then there's a doe that was also with us. I heard it come up and I thought it was a buck, but it wasn't. It was a doe. And then another doe came down and I told Chloe I was going to shoot her. Uh -huh. Literally a minute. Yeah. Really? Like, a literally a minute or two before she yeah, shot. Really. And then, I heard... A couple more and doking down. I was like, okay, good. I'll pick the biggest one. And then I saw white. And, then, and I saw. He was chasing so dumb so I saw her. I saw her put her gun up. I'm like, okay, she's gonna shoot a doe. And then I see white. I'm like, no, 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 please, God, no. Come <laughs> here, Did you say thank you? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, no. Colby. No, to God, not to me. <laughs> well, Colby could have shot him. No, I could. I I would only shot the them if they broke. That's not the one I that's, saw that's either. That's the one I saw. Go look at your gear, bud. Find it. So you see that tree willow? When I saw that tree, I was like, oh, I don't have to check if he's done. Oh, he, he, yeah, he's done. Look at that, pumpkin. Finally a rack buck. <laughs> you know what? For your first rack buck, they don't get any prettier than that. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Here, sit down with him. Hey, come on. It is. Okay. Yeah, shoot to get down out of the tree. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll set them up and clean them up a little bit for the picture. Just, just get your first one. Go ahead, just get your first picture. No, no, it's on video still. Oh, it's on video still. How did the blood get all the way up here? Because he's bleeding out his nose. Oh, he's, oh, he's nicer than I thought when she picked up that other side. I think that's the one we were seeing down there. That's the one we wanted. 
Yeah, I'm well, thinking. Well, I'm thinking well, that well, is. Well, put, put him up again. Pick him up again. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is. That's the one, Colby. Yeah, I think it is too. How much do you think he weighs? Oh, he's not that big of a deer. He's a young deer. He's only a year and a half. Yep. Wow. Ah, uh, he might be. T yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. He's not very big. Yeah. He just got a beautiful rack. Hold, hold on. Well, yeah, so tell the story. He's got to be two and a half. Yeah. Tell, half. So pick him up. Tell us. Tell the whole. Yeah. Oh, that is him. Look at his ear. That's that's floppy. Remember? Yes, it, it is. Yep. That's him. That's the buck we were after. Why did you want this one? Because we. That was that was. Went up here. That was the nicest one we I thought. I thought there was a bigger eight you said, or is this him? Well, the, the one had that one side, that one funky rack side. Oh. Yeah. His his. He's that's like, the one I missed last year. Yeah. That's, that's a two year old. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. How big was he last year? Just a little bit smaller than eight point. Yeah. Yeah. He's two and a half. Wow. Yeah. yeah I guess I is this the exit? Yeah, because I would have had to shoot him on the other side. That's the exit. Yep. Oh. Go ahead. Explain what happened. Like all just, of it? Yeah, how you yeah. saw what you, what you saw first. So like uh, what we did in the morning, just go through everything. Actually I didn't see anything this morning. When you said the thing about the spike buck, I was like, oh no, I'm already off to like a bad start. I didn't even see him. And then I kept seeing foxes. There's a bunch of foxes. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. But I kept seeing them and I wasn't seeing any deer. Like I didn't see any deer because Colby kept texting and he said be ready, so I thought they were coming my way. Never saw any. And then we got I had the little doe that came up from down there. I didn't even hear her until she was under my stand. Um, but they come right under the stand. And then I saw her and I was like, because it was already late. I think that was like 9.30 I texted Colby about that uh -huh. one. But I was like, she can't be more than like 75 pounds. And then that was it for a while. Then I set, had those two that came running. And I don't think it was him because it looked like just a little rack uh -huh. that was down there. But that went to the thick stuff. And then after that doe stood under my stand because he was with a doe and she came up, I told Colby, it was now like 10.30, I was like, well, I'm going to take a doe next. And then the other one came down and I couldn't tell how big she was, so I was trying to like gauge her. And then I heard something and all the other, I think there was the one over there, the doe, and then four other doe came down. And this buck's like head down, like tracked this one doe. And I was like, oh shoot. So like I try and get him on the first one. Yeah. And then the doe kind of notices me. Uh -huh. And she like picks her head up, but he's turning around trying to find this other doe and walks right into like the one shooting hole because it's kind of hard with those trees how yep. you have that set up. Uh -huh. And then he walks out and she snorts and like jumps and takes off and he lifts his head real quick so I knew I had to shoot now or I wasn't going to get a shot off and I just shot and it was like, I let him a little bit because he was kind of like starting to trot. Uh -huh. um, An absolutely 12 ring though. Yeah. Officially tagged. We gotta get a zip tie when we get to the truck, but he's tagged.